Hi, it's Anne. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make sticker labels. I know we've done this in the past, but I feel like every season we need to kind of update our, um, our video and just show you in case you missed it from before. So, but today is different because I just got some paper from Needle Products and granted, I got them for free. Um, so I got to test them out for an order and oh my God, mine like blown. It was so, so pretty. I can't even believe it. So anyway, I'm gonna be updating, adding it to my shop so that you guys can find it. Again, it's Neato Labels and the difference between between the two is just bananas so anyway i'm going to be posting tomorrow on my instagram so if you want to see the difference between um, my old sticker paper and the new sticker paper you're gonna just oh my god you, you won't believe it so anyway <laughs> all right um let's recreate this one so i'm going to show you how to do that and then i'm going to make another one kind of on the fly so let's get started um, what you want to do when we talk about doing sticker labels and just print images is that you want to have a solid background. So here you want to make sure that, um, if you don't have this circle behind it, it's going to cut out each individual letter. So you're going to have a random H and an A and then this Christmas tree. I don't even know if it's going to cut each, each individual colors, whatever. That's definitely what you don't want, right? Um, the other thing is I have this scalloped edge here and even that, I mean, these are nice like and round. So I don't think we would have an issue cutting it, but I know you can't really see this, but I have a circle behind it. I really want to, when I'm doing orders, um, I try to eliminate any issues ahead of time because you're always going to have issues when it comes to crafting and homemade stuff. So let's eliminate where we can. And one of the places is just having it cut one full circle because sometimes depending on your mat or if you didn't, you know, um, rub it down really well on the mat or you have a little bit of debris on your, on your blade, even a scalloped edge it could rip and then all of a sudden what you got to reprint one or you have to reprint one from each sticker page i mean it just stinks so anyway trust me on this no one's even going to notice that there's a little circle on the back let's get started so um let's bring in a circle this is going to be our backmost layer okay so i'm going to recreate this completely um so let's do our circle and it is this pale pink color then let's go get the scalloped. Everything except for the penguin, unfortunately. Um, my penguin, I uploaded it from Creative Fabrica, but I'm gonna show you with a different penguin as well. So let's go into images and let's find our penguin first. So just type in penguins and then we're gonna scroll down. And there was a really cute penguin that I wanted to use. Um, so here's mine because it says uploaded and it's printable. So I can't make any changes to this. I would have loved to change the color of the hat because it's like blinding white um, without enough color around it. But anyway, um, we're going to use this one. And there was another penguin, this one. This one's so cute. So we're going to insert both. And what's nice about using an SVG or um, an actual image is that we can change all these colors. So you can change it to, you know, whatever theme that you're going for. So let's make this a little bit smaller so it's not so crazy. But here's our first penguin. So our penguin here, you can see it's a cut and print. There's nothing that we can do at this point except for, you know, make it smaller. But we can't make any changes to the colors. But this little guy, look at all his layers. These That means all, all these layers, it just means more for us to be able to edit and change. So I don't want this little platform thing that he's on, so I'm just going to delete it. He's just gonna be cute sitting right in the in the middle. Um, I wanna add maybe some colors because you know I wanna make a colorful thing. So um, maybe, let's see, what can we change? We can change the sweater, maybe change the sweater to a pale blue, because I love that. Um, let's see, this is the bottom, the trim of his thing. Maybe make that a darker blue. Um, he's pretty cute right now, but we can even add something to, the, to his hat. So let's, I don't know, just because I'm, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a heart. <laughs> 
because he's so cute. Or you know what? Not a heart. Let's stick to let's stick to our theme. Let's bring in candy canes. And with candy canes, we could even do something. Um, let's look for a really cute image. And I'm gonna put it in his hat. Or you know, yeah. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Okay, let's click on this, insert image. I was going to you know, start designing, but it's just a small detail. I just wanna show you what you can do. So let's make this super small. It's gonna go in the beanie. And I'm gonna change the color to, um, does that show? We'll see in a second. I don't know if that's a good, but anyway. So here's our little guy, right? Um, so now we want to flatten it. And so that's, oh, we can't even see the thing. That's okay. Um, we'll leave it as is. Okay. So let's make him smaller or if it was, oh, I didn't get it in. That's why. Hold on. For some reason it didn't pick up. So with flattening images, you're layering. So right now, if I were to flatten it, if you don't see it, it's not going to show up. So what you want to do is you want to bring your penguin, go to arrange and send to the back. Then you can see your um, candy cane. Then you can grab these two items and flatten. And now, okay, there, you can see it. All right, so here's our little guy. <laughs> He's cute. Okay. Um, and let's bring in this Christmas tree. I just think he's it's so cute. So images, um, Christmas tree. And it is in here somewhere. This one's pretty cute too, but I don't want to pay $1.99. <laughs> um, there it is. It's 99 cents. I, that can't be right. I didn't authorize a payment and I literally printed the thing. Interesting. Um, I don't remember going this far down. So, wow, that must have been a glitch in the system, right? Because I printed it, I made I made it, but if it let me make it and it charged me, then it should be free this time and it's not. Ooh, that's crazy. Okay, I may have to pick a different tree. All right, so let's see. I know I'm scrolling a lot. Let me go back up to the top. I'm just gonna grab a tree from up here. Um, wow. It's like it logged me out because there's no way all these trees cost money. Um, I am alive. Okay, let's just use this one for now. <laughs> it's in the middle of a video. I'm running into issues. Um, that is crazy. Anyway, that was Oh my God, what happened here? Okay, let me delete all these things. Okay. Here's my tree. Let's make this tree green. And um, we're going to put him behind the penguin. So you see, because when we're flattening this, this is what you see is what you get. So. If you want the, if you don't want to see the bottom of that, then the penguin needs to sit on top of it like that, okay? And I would probably make the tree just a little bit smaller, like that. So it's clearly a Christmas tree, and then we'll have the words going around. Okay, let's do the scalloped edges. So you go into images, and hopefully, this is so crazy to me, scallop. Okay, so now these all say subscribe. 
I don't know. We can go back and look at it in a second. Okay, here's the one that I chose. Let's insert that one. And we might, for this one, make the circle a little bit bigger so that we have room for this. Okay, so we wanna make this a little bit smaller because like I was saying, we want to have that circle cut all the way around. And we can make this just... Okay, so before we slice it though, what you or before we add it, let's bring it down here. And actually, if you notice the difference between the two, this doesn't have as thick of a rim so what I want to do is I want to make this one I, I'm going to slice it out to make it thinner. I like the thinner look. So um, bring in a circle and I'm going to move this just a second so that you can see everything. Move that back. Move this over. Okay, so let's. what you want to do at this point is make this circle as big as you want to cover that piece. So something like this. What you want to do though, don't just slice, grab the two items, go to align and center it so that it's perfectly centered before we slice it. And now I'm going to slice it and you can see we sliced out a lot and it's so much thinner and I feel like before it was taking up too much um, attention. So here's our little guy. Okay. And everything is so cute and colorful. I want just a plain text. So I'm gonna to go to text and um, let's pick the font. I use Calibri, okay. Um, all right, so we're gonna text happy holidays. Oops, um, the text is right behind my face. But, um, oh, there it is, happy holidays. And I kind of want some space and from, I'm gonna do char. Okay, now we're gonna be curving the text. When we curve the text, um, you can't make any changes to the text. So like I can't change the letter space, I can't ungroup it. Um, the only thing you could do is just keep it the same and resize it, but I like to curve it first, so let's, and kind of see what, what we have here, right? Um, oops. Don't freeze on me. Uh, let me undo this for a second and see if that makes a difference. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I want to grab the text box and I want to make it fit more, like, this font obviously is too big for my uh, for this circle. Ah, oh, no. Let me undo that. Okay, let's grab just the text box. Okay, here we go. And see, I kind of want to um, account for this space. You know, maybe something like this. Where's the rest of my name? Oh, somehow got deleted. And you can kind of see, um, so from here what I can do is I can rotate this a little bit. Hold on, let me grab everything and move it down. Okay. So this text, I want to rotate it so that it's more in line like this. And then we can even move the Christmas tree. So let's move this Christmas tree a little bit. I'm going to arrange, send it to the front just so that I can move it easily. Maybe move it so that it makes more sense, like with the spacing, and then grab our tree and drop it behind our penguin. So this is our layers panel. So if I move this here, it will also, instead of going to arrange and sending it back, sending it back, you can do it over here. All right, so here's my little tree, here's my little guy. Now the, the text. So this is where after you've already aligned it and you like everything, then you can ungroup it. When you're ungrouping it, now you can make changes to each color. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from here. So I'm gonna, you know, every fourth letter, so three in between, I'm gonna change the color. So H, I'm gonna hit shift key, grab the Y, three letters in between, grab the I, 
Three letters, grab the S. Three letters, grab the O. Three letters, grab the H. I know. And that's it. I'm going to make that a red. Okay. Then um, the one before each red, now it's easy. I can just hit the shift key, go down everything before the red, one above it. Uh, okay, here we go. It's going to be blue. Then the one before blue, let's go up here. Uh, the one before blue is going to be a different color, so I'm just grabbing them all. Okay, that will be green. And then I have just one more letter. Let's see, here we go. This, uh, no, so this one, so anything that's left in black, I'm gonna hit shift and grab. Okay, I'm gonna change that to, um, can you see the orange? No, you can't see the orange. What color is left? Um, oh, purple, let's do purple. Okay, so happy holidays from Char. And it's a cute little guy here. And then now I'm gonna grab this whole thing and we can, you know, you can throw in another image here. I feel like uh, we could do a little bit more down there. So let's see, what's another, we can bring in another character. Let's see, reindeer. Let's see if there's a cute little guy that we can use. This one, he's so cute. Let's insert that one. And he could be in the background, way in the back by the tree. He'll be smaller. The oh, so cute. Um, arrange. Oh, here we can just. Oh, well, first let's flatten him. Before you flatten him, you can make any changes to this. So we could have made his scarf some other color, but let's flatten him for now. And we can bring this guy to the. Well, did I already? No, here we go. Let's grab him and arrange them to the front. So see that the feet get tucked behind. All right, so now you can grab everything and flatten. Okay, so that's it. So let's do another one. Um, uh, oh, all right, so let's bring in our circle. And this one, I'm gonna do white. I want I want to make it really, really bright. Let's do, um, let's do dots. I wonder if there's like a circle of dots so that we don't need to spend time creating each one of these dots, but there's gotta be, right? I know we're just designing. It's a good, um, there's dots, but Oh, this one, I guess. These are dots. Um, I want really small ones. I know. You're like, just pick one. <laughs> oh, this is, this is perfect. Okay, so let's insert that one. And this one's crazy because it's got a lot of dots that we don't want. But we only want some of these dots, right? So I want the middle one. So what I'm going to do is bring in a circle and we're going to slice out this thing. So I want the smallest layer in there. Okay. I'm going to grab these two items and I'm going to slice because I want to remove that innermost circle layer and do something like this. I want a beautiful red. Okay. And then this we can just get rid of. Yay. Easy peasy, right? Um, all right. 
With these two things though, as always, you, you just want to center it to make sure that it's not off-centered. <laughs> All right, um, let's make this a little bit bigger. I want to use this guy, but he doesn't look good with the white background, so I'm going to delete him. Let's um, let's look at Christmas and see if there's any fun images here. Or any cutesy um, sayings. Look it. My tree is now subscribed, right? I'm not crazy, so I'm gonna use that tree because I want lots of colors on this one. But that was, I mean, design space, you're killing me. You're very glitchy these days. Um, I don't know what I want. Lit like a mother. <laughs> I'm making, um, this is for my daughter, so I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> um, I know, thank you for putting up with me. But this is good, it's just sort of like a working session back from my work days. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm really not feeling any of these images. I'm going to insert this because I do want my tree. I want my beautiful, beautiful, colorful tree. And, oh, you know what? Okay, so let's ungroup that for, uh, unflatten that for a second. And I'm going to move all of this. because I want a duplicate of this. As soon as it'll duplicate and then I'll flatten it so it becomes one. Because right now I think it's crazy. Let's see, maybe if I flatten it first. Okay, so that's flattened. All right, so let's duplicate that. Oh, it did. Shoot, I'm slowing down my system, sorry. Okay, let's, so this one is already flattened. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and see if it works. There, I'm gonna use this tree, I'm gonna put it right here, and then I'm gonna go get, so let's see, let's delete one of these. Let's put this one, oops. See, this one's not flattened. So let's flatten that just so that it moves as one. I can't even get to my tree. I want to move it up. Okay, there. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna move my little guy over. Maybe tilt him. Okay, so that one's done. This one's, this one's almost good. I'm gonna move it in just a little bit. Okay. Um. All right. So there's that, and then I want. Let's go get that stinking reindeer again. I think he's cute, but let's see if there's a more colorful one. I kind of want one with like the lights in there. Oh, kind of like this, but cuter. <laughs> um, I might need to bring in an image, which I don't want to do right now. So let's insert that one, but I really, I wanna do a, I'm gonna go maybe go get a penguin. Penguins are so much cuter. Let's go here. Let's see some cutesy ones. Where are all my cute penguins? Oh, 
Oh, this one's cute. All right, so let's do this one. So same thing with this little penguin. All these things we can make changes to, right? So it's super cool. Let's get rid of this one. I'm not going to do this. Um, all right, so this one. I think I'm going to change the hat. I want like pink. That's a crazy pink. That's okay. Um, maybe purple. And then the palms, maybe a dark purple. The scarf, I'm going to change it to... Hmm. Let's get another color. We're just doing lots of shades of purple. Okay, so what's this? Okay, this needs to be... I'm just going crazy. And then this, I'm going to change to pink, but I want... There. All right. So here's my little penguin. I don't want this. Still that little platform that it's on. And then let's grab this and flatten. Pretty cute little guy, little girl. <laughs> All right. Oh, it can't change it too much. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Move this tree for a second. Let's move this over. And then let's get this tree in here. Oops. Where's my tree? Let's move this tree over a little bit. All right, there we have it. So I'm gonna grab all of this and flatten. So that's what that's gonna look like. And then we have this, let's flatten this. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to make these all the right size. So I'm gonna do two, two inch um, stickers, labels. And then you're gonna see the difference. So I kind of use different shades so we can see lots of colors. Let's go to the make, oh, what is this? We can delete all of this stuff. All right, let's go to the make it screen. Oh, why is it so much? They're all cut and print. Interesting. So it says it's a big project. So if you were making, for instance, um, 24 labels don't do 24 copies because it will slow down your system so much you want to do the one and then on this screen when it comes up right over here under project copies do 24 here or you can even do 12 and then just cut it two times but anyway so here I'm going to do hit apply and then it will fill up and then you print so you're going to hit print and it sends it to your printer. You're gonna take it out of the printer. It's gonna look exactly like this. Then what you do is you wanna put it on your mat in this corner exactly like this. And then it will cut perfect circles all around your stickers. And that's it. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Let me know, give me your feedback. You hate it, you love it, more stickers. Um, but the main thing in this lesson is the difference in the quality of your stickers due to the sticker paper. I had no idea. I honestly was not a, not a believer, um, but now I have proof. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys. Bye.